Hello, my name is Rick Hall and I'm uh, from a company called Ignite in Nottingham in the UK. Ignite tries to get more creativity into science lessons, particularly in schools. And I'm here visiting India. I'm here at the Centre for the IUCAA, uh, Astronomy and Astrophysics, uh, in their wonderful garden here in Pune in India. Um, and I'm very delighted to be here. Uh, I've been demonstrating a few creative science experiments and this one is all about how our mind and our brain works. It's called the Stroop test. The Stroop test. And it's actually quite a famous experiment. It's used a lot to test for how well our brains are working. And sometimes if we suffer an injury or a stroke or some other uh, problem with our brain, uh, we can use the Stroop test to find out what the problem is. Now, the Stroop test consists of a whole list of words. They happen to be colours and they're all in different coloured letters and the challenge for you is to read the words but not the words themselves to say the colours of the letters so as you can see there's lots of different words in lots of different colours so what we need to do is to read aloud the colours of the word so the colours of the letters not what the word says. So this row, for example, would be yellow, green, blue, purple, blue, because that's what the colours of the letters are. Now if you start at the top, we'll see how long it takes you to get to the bottom. Red, purple, green, yellow, blue, and off you go. Now some people will find that quite a struggle they'll almost feel that there's a tug of war going on in their brain and that's true because the part of the brain that deals with words is not in the same place as the part of the brain that looks after colours that deals with colours but because our use of language is what we would call dominant the brain is always trying to drag us back to say what the words say rather than the colours of the letters called the Stroop test. It's used often by doctors when somebody has ha perhaps had a head injury or uh, suffered a stroke or there's some damage to the brain because this illustrates how the brain works. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do it all at the same time. We'll see who gets to the bottom first. Okay, we'll do it as a race. Ready? Starting here. Three, two, one, yeah. go! Red, purple, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, yellow, yellow. yellow. Red, red, orange, orange blue. Blue. blue, orange, orange, orange purple, purple, blue, green, green purple, 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 red, 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 red blue, 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 yellow, 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 orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue, 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 blue purple, purple, blue, blue Purple, orange, green, green, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, orange, green. Fantastic. Well done. That's great stuff. Now, 